Hello, welcome back to Accounting Part 2, Financial Statement Interaction, Integration, as well as a basic overview of the major accounting ratios and how to analyze the actual numbers that now we'll be looking look at. And go into a little bit more precision on our ROE, Return on Equity Numbers. Return on Equity, as you may recall from the previous slide, simply says, take your net income divided by your equity. So this tells me from my cash, quote unquote cash, but really my equity, that I put into this firm, how much am I able to extract? How much profit or how much dollars will I make? And of course, I want this ratio to be as high as possible. So, many times, however, you'll see two companies have a 10% ROE, another one has a 20% ROE. And the question becomes, well, which one's higher? One might say the 20% is doing a lot better than the 10%. But not necessarily, because I want to split this between the two ratios. This is what we call the two-step ROE ratio. Net income divided by sales is simply our profit margin. We will take net income divided by sales times sales over equity. That's our equity turnover, as we've already talked about. What we're trying to figure out here as well is the reason why this guy, the 20%, is the reason why he or she has a higher profit uh, ROE. Is it because they have a higher profit margin? Or if they have the same margin for both, is it because they have less equity? Is it, does that mean that they put in more debt? So therefore, the distortion of the capital structure now comes into effect. Let me say that once more. If I have a company that has a higher, much higher ROE, but compared to another company who has a lower ROE, if they're both making the same profit margin, meaning for every dollar of sales they generate, they are keeping the same net income dollars, that's constant. But maybe the reason why the guy who has a higher ROE is higher is because they have a smaller equity base. So that can mean one of two things. Their assets are being utilized much more efficiently or it means that they borrowed a lot of debt and have therefore needed to put in less equity to get that future revenue and that net income in that time period. So therefore, we want to look at the ROE, break it down, get a little bit more precision because we can't tell just by looking at the ROE. Sometimes people even say this is not efficient enough or this is not even good enough. I want a further breakdown. That's when we now have our three-step ROE ratio. And our three-step now says, are you truly able to distinguish now? Is it because you're higher or lower ROE? It's because of your profit margin, your efficiency of the assets being utilized, or your financial leverage. If you have the same profit margin and the same asset turnover, what that means now is same profit margin, same asset turnover, that must mean that you have much greater debt to get you a lower equity base. That might be why you have a greater 20% ROE. But if it turns out that these are constant, your, your uh, relative mix of capital structure, your debt versus equity borrowings, as well as your efficiency of your assets being utilized are the same. But this 10% guy has a lower ROE because, hey, he just has a lower profit margin, then there's your answer. So what this means is by looking at the breakdown, the ROE, in a two and three step ROE, you get more clarity and more information as to what is making up that return. And of course, you can apply this to any other ratio and just continue breaking it down. Because simple algebra says the following, the sales will cancel out, the sales will cancel out here, and the assets cancel out. You still end up with ROE, net income over equity at the end of the day. Now let's turn our attention to the next slide on ROE. This is what we will call the five-step ROE ratio, the five-step DuPont ratio. And it takes the three-step, extends it, does the math, and at the end of the day, you can look for yourself as to exactly how these numbers are, uh, are constructed. But at the end of the day, you could just put a big X on this because this is not really used in real life. Moving on. 